guitar players. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to play the guitar an easy, fun, and fast way. One of the uh, most uh, often asked questions I get almost on a daily basis, Sam, am I too old to learn how to play the guitar? Uh, I don't, I don't want to spend months and months of, of learning scales and modes and bar cards, etc. I want to be able to play songs and uh, have fun with my family and friends uh, playing, playing guitar and playing songs. And the answer to the question, are you too old to learn how to play guitar, is no. You're never too old to learn how to play guitar. Uh, the traditional way of learning, yes, it, it takes months and months and months to learn how to play. Uh, but I'm going to show you an easy way, a quick way, and within the first seven days, first week or so, 10 minutes a day, if you practice 10 minutes a day, using these four chords I'm showing you today, you'll be playing songs, hundreds and hundreds of songs, and of your favorite songs, I might add, using just these four chords. You won't have to learn hundreds and hundreds of chords and scales, modes, and all that sort of thing. Uh, if you want to learn songs, learn guitar by playing songs fast and easy, then I'm going to help you today. I'm assuming you're brand new to the guitar, uh, maybe been trying to learn for a, a little while and just totally frustrated. Again, focus, put everything you've been trying to learn to the side, focus on just these four chords, be able to play them well, make them clean, make them sound good, be able to change from one to the other, and then put them in songs. Just these four chords. Okay, so what we're going to do, real quickly, you're going to want to lock your bottom, your, your ring finger on the second string, and your little finger on the first string, on the third fret. One, two, three, okay? They locked in. Now, they would never move. They stay down through the entire chord process. G, E minor, C, and D. They never, they never come up. That's what makes it so, so nice. Nice and easy and quick. Okay, then you take your first finger, put it on the fifth string, right next to the second fret. You want to be right next to the fret, not, not on top of it. And take your second finger, put it on the sixth string, right next to the third fret. So you have the two bottom locked in next to the third fret, okay? The, the second finger on the sixth string, right next to the third fret. And then the first finger on the fourth string, I mean on the fifth string, I'm sorry, fifth string, right next to the second fret. That's G. That's the way it should sound. Once you're able to make it sound clear. G. Okay, that's a four finger G. You can play it with uh, three fingers, but showing you these this way makes it much easier to play along with the other three chords. So there's G. And what you want to do, get your hand and out these fingers in these positions and strum. And you want it to sound clear. If you're getting, you know, getting some bad noise like this, not clear. Just adjust your fingers just a little bit, up or down, but not on top of the fret, remember. And then let your elbow stay stay in next to your body. This allows your fingers to come all the way around, and you want to play on the very tips of your fingers. The very tip, okay? So that's G. So once you get the G sounding good, then just sit down and practice. Use down strokes, or you can strum it either way. You want to sound good. next chord is E minor. Now remember these two bottom ones stay the same. They don't come up. Just take your first finger and put it on the fourth and fifth string, second fret. You hold two strings down, the fourth and fifth string, second fret. If you're not able, if that doesn't feel comfortable to you, you can use your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, and your second finger on the fourth string, second fret. So it's the fourth and fifth string, second fret. You can use one finger to play them, or use two fingers to play the fourth and fifth string second fret. These two bottoms still locked in. There's E minor. E M you might see it sometimes. E with a little M. E minor. Okay. So you want it to sound clear. So you have the G and the E minor, okay? And the next one is the C chord. The C chord, again, these two stay the same. They don't come up. Your first finger going to be on the fourth string right next to the second fret. Your second finger on the fifth string right next to the third fret. 
Okay, that's C. Okay, so yeah, G. And you move first and second finger down one string, one uh, string a piece, and that's C. So you see how much easier it is to make it this way, in this form, using these two fingers locked in. By these fingers being locked in down at the bottom, it really keeps you close to to the cards. And if you're playing, <coughs> excuse me, traditional G. It would be like this, and you have to go to C like this. See the big movement? That's what gives everybody starting out on the guitar trouble. Uh, and we don't want that. We're going to make it easy, okay? Okay, so these two locked in at the bottom, first to second string, third fret. And the final card is, take your first finger, put it on third string, second fret. First finger, third string, second fret. These two are still at the bottom on the first and second strings, third fret. There's D. So what you want to do is to, to strum these cards and make them sound clear. Okay, then the E minor. And C, you do them in any order you want. And D. G. Like I say, you play the E minor with two fingers if you want to. Okay, and C. D. All right, like I say, mix them up. You start with a D, then go to G, C, E minor. Any way, you, any order you wish. Just stay on these four cards and mix them up until you can play them well. Start using downstroke, okay? And once you get the sound clear, uh, using downstrokes, then you get your little rhythm built up. Now think of rhythm as timing. Don't a lot of uh, instruction out there talks about strumming patterns down down up down up up down up forget about that think of strumming as timing so important strumming is timing like a drum beat you listen to the to the timing of the song and that's the way you're going to create the strum so you don't want to do the down down up down or up down up down whatever think of, of strumming as timing okay so once you play the cards, make them sound clear, just get you a little strum. Just create a strum. Doesn't matter really how it sounds to start with, you're getting used to it. And everything's gonna smooth right on out. And just play these cards, any order you want. C, D, well, G, D minor, and C, and D. And one more time. C and D. Okay, so there's a G minor C and D, and with just these four cards, like I said earlier, you'll be able to play hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs. Uh, but just stay focused, keep it very, very simple and condensed. Do not try to learn other cards. Uh, and like I say, scales, bows, lead guitar, etc. Stay with learning cards. Cards are the backbone to any song. You learn your cards, you can sing, play your cards. Uh, if you're learning just lead guitar, where you might, you know, you see these people playing all over the neck, individual notes, like that, you, that's lead and that's fine. But you'll see most people playing cards because that's the backbone to learning songs. And learning songs is what makes learning guitar fun. And learning the cards the way I'm showing you here today makes it really, really easy. So 10 minutes a day, don't over practice. And just sit down and strum these cards. D minor. C. D. G. I've been teaching over 40 years. And uh, if someone would have sat down and showed me what I'm showing you today, this is the secret to you learning how to play guitar, no matter what age you are. Uh, right now, um, I'm enjoying playing guitar more now and teaching guitar than I ever have before. In all my years of teaching and playing, uh, it's, such a, it's such a great gift to, to be able to uh, share this with you. And you'll be so glad if you spend just a little bit of time. We're not talking about months and months and months. We're talking about just days 
learn the four chords, learn them well, and then I'll I, I have some uh, songs here on my YouTube channel using the four chords. Uh, so you, you can look go through the my YouTube channel here and check them out. I've got other videos, other lessons uh, that I talk about these four chords. Again, just keep it simple, and you'll be playing in a matter of days. Trust me on this. You'll be playing in a matter of days. Just commit to it. Just 10 minutes a day. Okay? Uh, one thing I want to mention to you, a very important tip. Get you a little electronic tuner, a digital electronic tuner. I have one that clips right here on the headstock, and it, it picks up from the, the neck itself. So it won't pick up outside noises, people talking, or other guitars playing. And just all you have to do is hit the string. You'll see one of the little notes pop up, whatever note you're on, whatever string you're on. It's going to tell you flat to the left, in tune in the middle, too high on the right. And you adjust your string until it gets right in the center. Get you a digital tuner, electronic tuner. Uh, I think they're about uh, 15 to $18 or so. Get them on Amazon. Get them at your local music store also. There's quite a few different ones. I like to use the Snark. S-N-A-R-K-S-N-1. That's the one I, I use. And I've been using it for, for years. And it works great. Really accurate. Not expensive. And it's all you need. But be sure and invest in that. Uh, the only other item I would say you need to invest in, of course, you'll need a pick and a guitar. Which you probably already have. Now, this is a guitar capable. I'm sure some of you know what it is. Some may not. The real the, the idea of a guitar case, folks, to be able to change the key on your guitar by placing it on the neck, somewhere here on the neck, and if you had someone singing a key you weren't familiar with, and you want to continue to play the chords you are familiar with, just you put your capo here, and what it does, it acts like the nut that you move the nut from here to here, or wherever you have it here. But what I use it for, I recommend using it for, a lot of times you may have a guitar that's not set up properly. What I mean by that, the strings are, are really high from the neck. And it makes it really hard to press them down. If you get your capo, six string guitar capo, and let's say we put it here on the, let's just say we're gonna put it on the third fret, okay? What I can do is play G, and I like this is the first fret, one, two, and three. So I play my G like I did up here, like we just got through doing. Still gonna be same position. But what the capo does, it brings your strings closer to the neck in the open position without any, any fingers on them. And then when you go to put your, car, your fingers on the cards, the strings, oh, it's gonna make, you're gonna say, wow, how much easier it is to play. Absolutely. And uh, you, you, you'll be writing me, sending me an email saying, Sam, boy, it really made a difference. So again, uh, regardless of what type of guitar you have, get you a little capo. And like I say, you can move it anywhere on the neck, wherever you want to put on the neck. Uh, usually first, within the first four frets, you'll see it. But some, some players like to use it. Fifth fret, seventh fret, right on down. Uh, but be sure to get it. Now what it does, and the reason it works so great, it brings those straight strings down. But if you notice, the further along you go putting the capo down here, you'll see these fret spacing gets closer and closer. So there's two things it does. It brings the strings lower, and then the frets get closer and closer. So when you go to reach for your cards, you're not reaching as far between each fret. The frets are closer. Those two things are key. To learning how to play and uh, I use a capo a lot uh, a whole lot uh, I mean not that I can't play the cards and make them sound right but uh, get that capo super duper important okay uh, picks you can try a different variety of picks uh, they make plastic picks hardest picks my, my goodness I could go on and on I use a nylon pick uh, about a 38 mm millimeter and uh, but you you can test different ones this is about the right thickness that I like because it allows me to go through the strings easy and uh, without making a lot of string noise and uh, without the pick wanting to get hung up in the strings 
but again, you can try a different one. You can try uh, different gauges, different uh, types of pick materials uh, that the picks are made out of. Use a pick, though. You see a lot of uh, people saying, use your finger. No, use your pick. Use your pick. A fairly soft pick, like I say, mine's .38. Uh, but, but do use your pick. Last time, I'm going to go to cards real quick. Magic four cards. Okay, the first to the second. Uh, little finger and ring finger locked in on the first to second string. Right next to the third fret. This is for the G. Your first finger goes on the fifth string, second fret. Second finger uh, on the sixth string, third fret. There's G. Bottom two stay locked in for all four cards. E minor, fourth and fifth string, second fret. You can use one finger or you can use your first to second finger. One on each string. That's the E minor. So G and E minor. Okay. Okay, G to C. If you're going G to C, let's say, you just drop your first to second finger down one string. Simple. You're on C right there. Isn't that easy? So easy. Okay. Again, these two never move. And then to go to the D. Just take your first finger, put it on third string, second fret. First finger on the third string, second fret. These two are still at the bottom, on first and second string, third fret. There's D. And just, I'm going to go over just a, a couple of chord combinations once you get used to your strumming and making the chord sound good. There's a thousand things you can do with these chords. pattern, or timing as I like to call it, you can do a lot of different uh, songs by using just these four chords, okay? You're not too old to learn how to play. Uh, I want to be able to teach everyone who has the desire to learn how to play how to play the easiest, quickest way. And that's by learning these four chords in these positions and putting those four chords to songs. And then later on, I'll show you ten chords, open chords, that will go along with these that's going to allow you to play thousands of songs. That will be in another video. But right now, today, Focus on these four chords and you're going to be playing and having a lot of fun playing guitar in just a very short period of time. If you like this video, if it's helped you, hope it's, it's inspired you to get, get started and start playing the guitar. Again, you only talk about four chords, hundreds of songs you better play. And uh, le be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Hit the little red button below. Uh, and a little bell symbol will appear. Uh, click the bell symbol and you'll be notified each and every time I put up a new video. Try to do one a week. Sometimes I do two a week. Uh, so be sure and subscribe. Always, if you have any comments about this lesson, leave them down below if you enjoyed it. Want to see more like this. Uh, also, let me know if you get your capo uh, and, and you'll see how much it's going to help you. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about the capo and what I, what I told you it will do. Because if you get your one, you'll see it's going to make a thousand percent difference in playing the strings easier, okay, and not having the big spread between your, your frets. It's going to make wonders in you learning how to play the guitar, uh, especially for the pressure part, not having to press down so much. Uh, a lot of beginner guitars, they're just not set up right. They're not designed properly. And the strings are high. No matter what you do to try to adjust it, just it's almost impossible. And you get your capo, it takes care of that. Whatever kind of guitar you have. Uh, 
inexpensive or mid price or high price. Uh, 10 minutes per day. Uh, leave your comments below, subscribe, and I hope this has helped you. And let's go learn how to play some guitar. See you in the next video.